What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire to the War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to round off where we left off, um, while we've been invading the Iberian Peninsula, the Spanish have been invading Naples, which will cause us some problems. But we've got an army coming in from northern Spain that's going to storm its way down south. So the plan is with this army, this garrison that spawned, is to try and do as much damage as possible in preparation for our army coming south because it's mostly militia so we can do a lot of damage to these forces but let's see what our defensive position looks like because i need to take full advantage of um choke points and so on in towns in order to put down the maximum amount of damage my mortars as you know are kind of <laughs> suicidal and worthless do you have any trade points? No, we're not in the town. Damn it. It's gonna be a fairly quick battle then. Okay, let's do something like this. Anchor some fire lock arm citizenry around behind, behind some of these sections of walls. Because they at least then have the capacity to provide some sort of defence for themselves behind cover. Yeah, the aim is not to win, it's to do as much damage as possible. And that can only happen when they merge. Um, but at the very least, this is happening to us. This is happening to us while we're invading there capital so I suppose it's kind of a fair trade all of the cavalry is focusing on the right flank which will just shunt down into a couple of square formations just deploy them all into square because that's a massive cavalry charge Look at how it is just targeting hostile positions. Yeah, we've got a weird sound bug because we can't hear a lot of the stuff going on. So let's turn this guy up, fire it all off. Oh, that was our infantry routing. What? Okay, what do you want to bet? That was our mortars to blame for that. Fire will on. Line cavalry, whatever the hell that is, is coming in. Yeah, the aim was not to win. The aim was to just do as much damage as possible, which at the very least we're going to be able to achieve with our cavalry. Our... Uh, Arm um, citizenry will, will do less damage. Nope, stay in square. Speed up time, actually. So, pour in some fire into the guys up north. These guys are wavering. These guys, it must be this line cover unit. They're just doing really well at making my guys flee. So these guys on the flank have broken. You guys just get into the right position then just hunker down in square. The enemy are charging our lines. It's a bit of a bum we're not getting any the sound bugs kicked in and we're not getting any actual gunfire. Just drop into square. Yep, yeah, this line's gonna fold because our uh, line infantry are just not capable of holding against massed cavalry. So they're gonna roll up this flank pretty good. <laughs> yeah, they're doing pretty good. So we're probably not gonna get as many kills as we'd like, but meh. 
at the very least, if they keep charging this square formation in penny packet ways, you might still get some good damage done. Yeah, there they go. Who's this? Aha! Our last remaining men. Get in formation and just fire off as many musket shops, shots as you can. Yeah, those light cavalry do pretty well. Okay, let's go for the cavalry. Because they're coming in closer. Yeah, we wouldn't. Have, we haven't done as much damage as I would have liked, but you know, you can't can't sit there thinking about what we wish we'd like. We wish, wish we had all the time. Just charge in and take them out, and then just run. Yeah, not as good of a defence as I'd have liked. How many do we kill? 1,200. So we're going to lose our port, oh, lose some of our ships from the ports, which is standard AI behaviour. Oh, the Spanish are also sending more troops to go and attack us um, in Greece. But it's because the Spanish know what's coming. The Spanish know that we are going to we are going to systematically clear out their territory. And it's very uncomfortable to see all these Ottoman troops redeploying like that. But we do have troops able to clear out the majority Spanish holdings. Actually, have they lost... No, they haven't. I thought I'd say, have they lost Lisbon? It looks a different colour to Morocco. But I think I have been misremembering. But let's just hope Sweden carries on leaving us alone. We do not have the strength to fight them off until we've managed to beat the Spanish. And I'm afraid, losing Naples, we may lose a bunch of cash for that. And I've still got a fair amount of cash. Okay, so let's drop you. The quickest way to get there. Let's take our little sloops. We're going to intercept this ship for sure quickest way to get this guy down here. You'll get there in two turns of marching. Or I get him aboard ship and then I dump him off up north of Rome. So at least uh, cut them off and you guys continue to attack. Where's my where's my Italian navy? Here it is. We're gonna go knock these guys out. That's for darn sure. You are gonna go up and knock out these rebellious, or not rebellious troops, but spend some more money replenishing. Let's bring you south with all haste. You fixed happiness building. To be honest, they're all quite happy with me. Fix the barracks, the naval building, and the artillery building. You need to replenish. You need to come just march south quickly to try and knock out as many enemy forces as possible. We don't really need a seminary, but it's hel it's helpful to have to get the religious happiness up. But I do want them to march south, so we can knock out this guy, then go march west to help take out Lisbon. Cagliari is going to be a problem permanently, but there's not a lot we can do about that. Let's take our navy. Take no risks. <laughs> Just send the navy out. Let's go intercept this Spanish fleet. Because if there's one thing we definitely don't want, it's them behind our lines if the Ottomans decide to attack. That's just something we definitely don't want. 
Okay, just group a bunch of ships together. Unfortunately, they're going to be at a bit of an advantage, so we're going to sit like this. Ready to respond, although they're directly going behind us, so we're probably going to go something like that, just to flatten our line out. Yeah, the armies, the, the ships are damaged, they should fall fairly quickly, and it will mean that that navy that's on there, or the army, will be destroyed, which will be perfect. But it does rely on their ships being somewhat predictable. Because really what I didn't what I don't want is them to be in a position to pick apart the rear of my line. So if I deploy straight and they continue to go this direction, like if they continue to go around here, I'll then just spin around and come back on myself. But I don't want to do it now because they have chance they have a chance to uh, change course. Okay, now I'm gonna do it. Just keep sailing. Just keep going. Probably something more like that. That's probably more likely. So now I've done something a bit, a bit risky. Put my Admiral second ship in the line. The reason why it can be a bit risky is because the Admiral sometimes likes to climb up here. So if you lose your mainmast, your admiral just plunges to his death. Okay, let's actually do a bit something a bit more like that. slowly pivoting their course as they get closer and closer and closer um, but I think we'll soon see them off with a series of round shot volleys obviously I do want to use chain to knock out their masts stop they're getting into a Okay, they're going to be super annoying and instead decide that they're going to plink at range. So I need to change the course of most of my fleet in order to get into a position to not get entirely screwed over in order to allow my ships to engage. Let's speed this up a little bit. Admiral's flagship third rate, pouring some shots in, winning slightly. Concerned, many guns destroyed. Okay, let's just triple speed this, because this is just going to get a bit silly. They've lost the four. They lost the foremost on the fifth rate. This guy. All these guys follow. Follow the wind and get moving. You probably need to do chain shot and pivot 
more dramatically to get shots into La Presa. So this guy's already lost a, uh, a mast. To be honest, you might just stay firing. Just firing round shot into uh, España. You guys just drop an anchor and hunker down. No, I don't board yet, I suppose. No. Just keep engaging. You also fire round shot. You guys keep nailing it straight forward at full sail. Nope, pivot. You hunker down where you are. Okay, this is going to be a delicate situation. You're going to fire first, then this guy is going to fire. Then this guy is going to fire. Then you are going to fire chain shot. You should do round shot. It looks like they're already very upset. Good. Surrendered. Now everyone. Go take out Espana. Rolling broadside in. Absolutely continue. We're going to fire chain shot, hopefully. Slow her down a bit. <laughs> yeah, good. We don't want the ships. We haven't got... We've got cash, but we don't really need the fleet. So we're going to take the 1400. Destroy the army it contains. Get these guys back to Patras. And get them repaired. We've got six grand. I'd like to spend it on something to make more money, but that's not quite an option at the minute. Well, no. No, I don't want to build a... I'm going to build a port. They can still land and advance their troops now if they want. So that's not going to stop them. I don't want to build troops. Because I want to keep a, a war chest of some description. Okay, let's rebuild the palatial estate. The mine's still working. Okay, just keep marching people south, I think. I think that's the best option. So, quick climb next turn, which is great. You do have howitzers, as do you. You do not. So let's roll up some howitzers and let's get the next level no I don't even want governor's mansion may just get some militia just as a bit of an emergency uh, garrison measure okay let's hit end turn no oh, you oh, that's so annoying Rome's got a great garrison though, so I'm not 
bothered, but if they push north... Or do I send Rome... I'll send Rome's garrison to go take Naples. And then my army that was marching via Rome can go and interdict those guys up north. Go on, Ottomans. Declare war on someone else that's not me. That's what I want ever so much. Such as the Russians. Declaring all the Russians would be excellent. She could leave me alone. Don't like their troops are disappearing. But any time I get to try and conquer the Iberian Peninsula is a good one. Gentlemen in Venice. Good. So let's get you to Bologna. I could upgrade them to a good, a really good university, but I, I just can't. Steam engine. Probably good. It's a long shot. Not a long shot. It's a long distance thing with 12 turns. Natural causes. Oh, we lost a gentleman hit anyway. So they've raided on Seville again. Just march this guy down. So these guys that had garrisoned the town, you're going to mark... Okay, let's first, let's pick things properly. You guys, go down, take Naples. You try march... Oh, you can't di really dictate which way they run, which is very annoying. Some guys up there at Venice, I suppose. Repair the governor's barracks and let's get them taxed because they'll pay for that immediately. These guys took some losses, but not huge ones. Especially for a team that now has quicklime. So let's go take them out or do as much damage as possible. If we can... It's likely that army will probably go and take another city to the north but we'll then just take that we'll take it back again this is temporary this army once spain loses it will not have many other armies on the battlefield quick lime am i going to abuse quick lime yes i am drop my guns over here on the flank Okay, let's build build up my line that isn't super but I do have a lot of good well, a good amount of cavalry at least ah my other artillery battery can go over here as well Yes, yeah, because you have quick climb. Although it didn't really live up to its potential there. Intercept that regiment of horse immediately. You guys go intercept that regiment of horse. more time focusing on where these guys are actually shooting. So we do want to swamp these guys because they have a regiment these are regiments of horse and I have dragoons. Ok 
go get him, Dragoons. Not Dragoons. Quick climb. Fire! Slight miss. I'll take a good hit, though, please. Dropping a bunch down over there. There we go. both these guys over there to take out that regiment of force so I can't really push anyone else. Change the artillery. I would love to charge down the militia but instead you need to charge down this militia. General's charging in so we need to make sure they don't accidentally shoot or target the general. Militia, try to hold them off. You guys keep going after the Dragoons. Can you do as much damage as possible to the Militia? Send my Militia across to attack. Let's bring my General over to the right. After the militia, you go after this unit is about to die. Charge my regiment of horse into the general. Lost a militia unit in the centre. These guys drop into square because they've got a bunch of cavalry attacking them. Let's get my cavalry out there. Out of there because that's not what I want them to do. You guys attack this unit of militia. Let's pick new quick line targets. So now, which, who's routing? Original force, did they get? They got artillery. Let's get my general the hell out of Dodge because he's about to get attacked. Militia concentrating their firepower in the centre, but I don't think it's going to help. Let's pick new lines, make sure the targets distributed don't really care about the general's bodyguard I want to keep dropping quicklime onto the people that are left hit the experienced militia there's not many of them left Pick new quick loan targets. This unit, the 6th militia on the flank. You guys are going to take up that unit. To be honest, the, the artillery doesn't have much of a role anymore.
assault fireball here. Ah, they still do have line cavalry and regiment of militia. There we go. There goes the sixth regiment of militia as well. Hot quick climb fire. Charge these guys into the back of this combat. Okay, let's keep all of the attacks going. There goes the militia. You guys have three militia to kill. Try and intercept those guys. You're trying to intercept them. We're intercepting them. Damn right, we're continuing. You devils. Just keep massacring them. That's all I can hope you guys do. Too bad, they're going to get away. Go help the general. These guys are very close to the border. They have been for a long time, but they've not successfully routed. They might be about to, though. Unfortunate. Then I'm going to go mop up this last unit of militia. Kill them! Kill them all! Delicious. There we go, so that's reduced that entire army down to 400 men. A frustration, for sure, but not critical. You guys can... see, no one can take out this chap. Let's build... Okay, first, let's get... Some of our ships back. Yeah, the navy's okay there. Good old quick lime. Okay, over here in, against Spain. Well, not against. Well, yeah, against Spain. I was about to say oh, not against Spain. No, it is against Spain. I've got five cash, which I can't do anything with. New Spain. We're friendly with New Spain. 13 colonies are indifferent, but it's because we're at war with Britain. Actually, maybe we can make peace with Britain. Ah, oh, sad. What about Russia? No, I'm not going to give you Venice. But we've got trade with the 13 colonies in New Spain, but it looks like... <laughs> yeah. Either our port or their port's being blockaded. And I assume it's theirs, because ours are all free. Hey, you've got another trade port over here. Okay, instead of building this guy, I might repair this guy. And probably not repair anything else yet. But I could just march these guys out to go and attack them. But will Madrid hate it? Not as much as I thought. The question is, though, is this what... Sweden's waiting for me to do, to march these guys out of Madrid. Uh, our artillery is here. Okay, so let's take a unit of cavalry and one unit of infantry. You stand back as reinforcement. 
We'll bring up some howitzers to Mr. Defendi. We'll bring up the last unit of howitzers in the support column. And then let's pick up some repairs in these Iron Master's works. And let's keep our priest this side of the line. Just to try and not antagonise the Ottomans. And who are they actually at war with now? Just the pirates, which is not good. So let's hit N10. Spain's growing an army. And it looks like they're going to grow some in the Americas. They're going to come blockade us, I would imagine. Yeah, the best thing the best thing to do is I need to knock out Lisbon, knock out Gibraltar, knock out Morocco, and knock out Sardinia. So they don't so they lose. Well they lose their colonies. Which is maybe why New Spain likes me. <laughs> Potentially. But good. The Ottomans are just spreading their troops out. They're not actually combining them anywhere, which is lovely. Russians are stealing tech again. Or attempting to steal tech. They probably have already stolen a bunch of tech already. Yeah, we've got Mexico now. Mexico's become a thing. They got independent. Well, they've probably been a thing for a while. It's just surprised me on the map. But the Mughal Empire are really scary because they own all of India and they are pretty much conquering all of the Americas. <laughs> like, all of it. <laughs> like, so much. They, okay, that, they're the next big problem. Okay, you can take Granada. Just take him out. Replenish. Restore. These guys are going to march on Gibraltar. Can repair here. How much cash are we getting again? 11,000 next turn. Build a sloop here. Let's build a sloop here because they're both important. I think I'm going to wait. Or do I just push out? Or do I just push out? Okay, I'm going to recruit a militia unit to go sit in this port when I push these guys out. So I at least get that uh, breathing space. You... Go kill Arturo Cruz. Oh, you're not close enough. It's annoying. You guys can go kill Dimitrio Vasquez, though. Not, not completely. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's annoying, but I presume they've not got the strength to attack anywhere, or they don't want to attack anywhere, because they can't. Let's do a bit of replenishment, because whatever this army does, they're going to go land in Cagliari, take out this Spanish territory. But if I can take Gibraltar, take if I can take out take Gibraltar, kick them out of Cadiz, take Morocco. No, I don't want to take Morocco, it gives me a border with Britain. I want to take Lisbon. Yeah. So these guys are going to... Yeah. Okay, or do I just keep... Hmm. The problem is, do I keep one near Madrid to respond to whoever attacks me? Or do I just send... I'll just keep, I'll just keep pushing this guy, I think. Yeah. The Greek militias have been built. Good. Good. 
yeah, they're recruiting men from the south, so I do need to go secure Gibraltar at the very least. I suspect they're probably going to go and pick up more... They're going to go to the New World to pick up more troops. Yeah, my guy is going to go south and hit. See, like, of all the places they went, they decided to... They just took Turin. It's not even the territory they owned. Obviously they're just going to go and raid... Yep, we're going to go take retake Turin, gather forces to hit Cagliari. I want to go take Gibraltar and Morocco and Pooh. Oh dear. <laughs> hmm. That's never good. So we're going to have a handful of turns before the Austrians, not well, the Austrians, the Ottomans declare on us again. But at the very least, we have Quicklime now. And that's not super good either. But at least the French are still rebelling. Same of the Netherlands. At least they are still rebelling. And hopefully they go take Amsterdam. As the Mughals pretty much take over the rest of the world. But at the very least, the pirates are keeping, uh... Yes! The Netherlands took... They took... The Netherlands took back, uh... The city. Okay, you guys can now go take out Dimitrio Vasquez. You are already very peaky. They're gonna go... Okay, first of all... Just your men. No guns are going to go. They're going to lay siege. They're not going to attack. The, the guns will follow. And you go back to Venice. These guys have all been rebuilt. These men come to Rome. Combine with these guys. Let's replenish. Because we are going to go hit them. Lots of raiding and regions lost. Got new ships built. The Ottomans have got a fairly good army coming after us. Okay. That's an auto. So let's boot him out of, out of the port. Can't push over until this uh, this fleet goes away. That's the main problem. Like we can't attack Morocco until they're cleared out. I don't quite know. Oh, you're, yeah, you're going up here. What sort of garrison do I get here? Not much. Let's pick up loads of really cool units, but I can't pick them up. Because I need... Dirt basic troops to replenish or to take... <laughs> to, uh... I need just basic troops just to occupy their, their time. Let's push up, just to force them to try and do something. While I'm assaulting on all fronts. See, so we've got... Yeah, we do have measuring tools, but I've just not got around to upgrading roads in so many of my territories. You men can get two grenadier units ready to go over and hit Cagliari. 
path blocked there. No. Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> well, looking at the timer, uh, it's time to end the episode because we've been doing quite a lot in this episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Italian States. Cheers, everyone.